Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through, well, kind of a side LP of Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition, The Right Way. This is our second attempt at the Pika Cup for the Nintendo 64 version of Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, that's right. Now, like I've said many times, um, the first time we went through this, I was not prepared at all. I didn't know what to expect, and um, I got beat up pretty badly in these two rounds. Now we're going to try round seven. Yeah, this is where things start getting tough. Now, unfortunately, I can't use Ninevolt in this. I'm going to start out with Arthur, then I'm going to go into Molotov, and finally I'm going to go into Seymour. And we're going to hope, really hope, this works. Um, this could go horribly wrong, but we've got to give it a shot anyway. And perfect. The Arcanine came out first. Now, Arcanine is faster than everything we have. Here is actually why I brought in Arthur. See, for whatever reason, it seems to me that in round seven, if you bring out something that is weak to fire, he's going to throw out this Arcanine first. So the first thing that I do is switch into Molotov, who has got the best shot of withstanding this Fire Blast. Okay, so now what I want to do is use Dig. And here's the kick. For whatever reason, this Arcanine is going to use Dig quite often, especially against Molotov. Well, Arcanine is faster than we are, which means it's going to dig the hole first. Okay, fine. Molotov will dig a hole himself. Arcanine will use Dig first, which means it's going to miss, and then it'll be standing there when Molotov uses Dig. So, pop. Just like that. Is it half? No, it isn't. That's okay. I'm going to try it again. I'm really hoping on this. Usually with this, I can get two shots off. A third one is kind of, you know, fantasy. It might not work. But it is very possible that, and in this case I did, get two shots off of Dig with Molotov. And since his first initial fire blast missed, it's very possible to get out of this particular battle with no damage whatsoever to Molotov. That couldn't be better. Is it enough? Not quite. Okay, so now I'm going to try it one more time. And then we're fortunate. Okay, Swift is going to hit us. Okay, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's okay. Had I used anything else, this Arcanine would be down. However, now we actually get to try something a little bit different here. Okay. So as long as this Arcanine doesn't use Dig, we'll be okay. And of course, it's going to use Dig, which means Molotov's attack is going to miss. That's okay. So what we do is now, believe it or not, we're actually just going to switch out to um, uh, Arthur. So Arthur is going to come in, which means this Dig attack is not going to hit. Perfect. So, all of a sudden, nothing. Isn't that great? So, it's attack missed. I'm going to try to hit with a Psychic, see if we are fast enough to get past everything. And, hey, it looks like we are. Under the idea that the Psychic will hit, Arcanine is down, and very little damage to Molotov. Man, that's great. That could not have gotten any better. Brilliant. So, now, who are we out to fight now? And it is great. Now comes a bit of an issue, but I'm going to try this. Arthur has got two shots to make this work. That's it. Only two shots. Surf is going to do a lot of damage to Arthur. And if it isn't a critical hit, we do actually have a shot here. Okay, so it's not critical. If this sleep powder works, we're still in business and it fell asleep, that's brilliant. Now we just have to use Psychic as much as we possibly can. This is the only way out of this fight. Oh, say, okay, so Krulet is still asleep. That's great, that means we can get two shots of Psychic off. Now hopefully, this will be enough to take it completely out. And, oh man, I hope this works. This is the only possible way that I have found for these particular Pokemon 
to get through this. Hey, this is great. So now that uh, Cruelette is still asleep, Arthur has beaten Cruelette as well. Brilliant. Oh, that could not have gotten any better. But now comes the problem. Who is our last Pokemon? Sure, we still have three. They've only got one, but we don't know who it is. Mr. Mime is going to do some serious damage to everything. So, let's see what we can do here. We are going to give Sleep Powder a shot. This is our best hope here. Unfortunately, Mr. Mime is, um, well, relatively strong, and it has got a very distinct uh, um, defense against psychic attacks, which means Arthur right now is our best shot. And even if Arthur puts this thing to sleep, there is no guarantee that we're going to be able to win. This isn't going to be an easy fight. This is probably the hard, the, the toughest of the three. And yeah, I do know that Arcanine and uh, that Tentacruel were very difficult. This one is going to be just as bad, if not more so. Okay, so it woke up. That's bad. I have to try to put it to sleep. We're fortunate in that our sleep powder is faster than his psychic which means we at least have a shot of putting it to sleep. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So, we've got to figure out something else very quickly. I'm going to try... I'm going to try to bring in Molotov and see if this works. The first thing I want to try and do is I want to try and hit this thing with Fire Blast. Yeah. Unfortunately, Psychic is faster than we are now. So, Molotov is slower than Mr. Mime, and unfortunately, Seymour is slower than Mr. Mime as well. So, we've got to try and do as much damage as we can. And that's all oh, beautiful! Hey, we did it! Oh, that's great. I was not expecting that to work, but whatever. Okay, so we ended up taking out the round seven. Man, that's great! We definitely didn't get a perfect for it. This is the second time in this LP that I've had to go through round seven, which means we are down a continue. That's okay. We have got two continues to get through round eight. And so now, who are we going up against? Well, it turns out that we are going up against some Fisher. Okay. Now, again, I'm not going to use 9-volt here. I'm going to use Arthur then Seymour, and then, believe it or not, Mankey. And so hopefully this is going to work. Now, Arthur is still the fastest member of the party that we have, which means I'm still going to rely... Oh boy. And here is a Golduck, who is, well, let's face it, pretty strong against psychic attacks. But if I can somehow get this thing to sleep, I'm definitely going to use Psychic on this Gold Duck. Okay, so it failed. I can't say I'm happy with that. Ice Beam is going to sting a lot. How much? Super effective? Oh boy, I don't like that at all. We have got a couple of shots left to do this. So let's see if Sleep Powder works. Now the biggest problem with Ice Beam is that it actually has the opportunity to completely freeze a solid. That will mess everything up completely. I need Golduck to be asleep, so I'm going to try it again. And now we've just got to go through a lot of hope. Believe it or not, this is not the toughest round of this, this uh, contest. Personally, I think round seven is a lot more difficult. Super effective is very bad. Now we're way under our, our HP, so we've got to somehow put this thing to sleep and start taking, getting it to take some damage. Now, it fell asleep. That's great. Hopefully, it can stay asleep. And it didn't. Uh-huh. So, can this thing stay asleep now? Oh, come on, work. Work for me. Okay, so it fell asleep. That's great. If it stays asleep, and it did, now we can actually start knocking this thing down. So here is a shot of Psychic, and hopefully this will work. 
I just cannot recall how much damage it actually does. That's not a whole heck of a lot. So, it woke up, we have to put it back to sleep to try and do that again. If we can get it to sleep and hit it with one shot of Psychic, we've won. See, the idea is we are still faster than it is. So if it stays asleep here, we've beaten it. It didn't. Okay, so we've got to try this again. See, we are still faster. So if it can stay asleep for one round, even if it wakes up, we will be able to get that second shot of Psychic off. But it has to stay asleep for that first shot to work. This battle is definitely going to be difficult. There's, well, with the Pokemon that I've chosen to use, there's really only one way to make it happen, and I'm going through that now, so unfortunately it's still not asleep. Okay, we've got to have this thing go to sleep. Now, the big thing I'm hoping right now is that I actually don't lose all my uh, uh, PP for putting this thing to sleep. And, yeah, if all I'm doing is putting it to sleep and it's waking up, there is a shot that that could happen. I don't want that. I want one shot of, of Psychic here. Okay, so it fell asleep again, and now it stays asleep? Oh, yes, it does. Beautiful. Okay, so... Now what this means is we can get off a one shot of Psychic. And since that's the case, if it hits for enough damage, beautiful. Okay, so even if it had woken up there, we still would have been faster for the next round and we would have won. But now we're down to 9 HP for whatever it's going to bring out. Yeah. Slow bro. Great. So... I have to see if this is going to work, and I am going to guess that I'm going to try to put this thing to sleep. If I can put it to sleep, I can switch out, because the reality is my Psychic is not going to work against this Slowbro. So who is my best shot? Well, my best shot here is going to be Seymour. So I am going to switch into Seymour, and then I'm just going to use um, Vine Whip and Cut and try and take this thing out. Okay, so here is Seymour, and it's still fast asleep. That is great. So I am going to start out with Leech Seed. And the only reason I'm starting out with Leech Seed is this is guaranteed a few rounds to make this thing work. So first off, it's seeded. Unfortunately, now it's going to wake up, but that's okay. Seymour is already there and ready to go. So all we have to do now is just hit it with uh, Vine Whip and hit it with Cut and hit it with every other thing that we can. Hopefully this does some damage. That's not that bad. Okay, so Psychic is going to hurt if it doesn't completely wipe Seymour out. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we got a little bit of HP back. And now we are going to do one more Vine Whip, see if we can take out this Slowbro. And it hits Brilliant, not quite enough. Oh, that's terrible. And here is Psychic. That's bad. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'll even take that. Seymour, you did very well. Thank you very much. But unfortunately, now I'm going to use Mankey. Yep, just like that. So, now we are faster than the slow bro, but Psychic will rip right through Mankey. The best way for Mankey to have a shot here is to not be there when Psychic gets used. So, Dig. Dig should do more than four points of damage. Man, I hope it does. And if that's the one, now it'll do more than one point of damage. If it hits at all, the Slowbro is down, and we have a completely fresh Mankey for our third and final Pokemon from our opponent. So, that's brilliant. Who is the third Pokemon that we're going to be fighting? I have actually got no idea. It is... Oh, wow. Okay, so another kick on this one. This one does something called Dragon Rage. Yes, which is no real big deal. It hits for 40 points every single shot. Well, that's okay. 
What this means is don't be there. Now, is um, Dig going to do a lot of damage? Man, I hope it does. That Dragon Rage, I think, actually looks pretty cool, but it does. 40 points guaranteed every shot. That's kind of the deal with Dragon Rage. It did nothing. Okay, I can't say I like that. That's okay. And if, yes, we're going to be hit for 40 points. That's bad. Okay, not a problem. What we're going to do now is we are going to use Dig again. See, the idea is it went down for 19 points. Okay, so that being the case, we should be able to get out of here leaving Mankey unconscious and this uh, uh, Dragon Air at about 14 points. So if this is critical, we win. If it isn't, we can bring in Arthur and hope that we get one shot. Okay, so 12 points is even better. Dragon Rage, unfortunately, is going to take out Mankey. We bring Arthur back in, and we get one shot. Yep, that's all we get is one shot. So, I am going to hope that this works. I'm not even going to bother with Sleep Powder. The reality is that Arthur is faster than this thing. So, my, my strongest attack right now is Psychic. I'm going to lay everything in the path of Psychic. Will this work? And it does. Beautiful. So, just like that, we have done very, very well. Um, yeah. Yes, it has. And finally, we've made it out of the Pika Cup. Man, that one was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. That's okay, though. So, just like that, we have won the Pika Cup. Brilliant. Um, now what? And now we get to see all of the Pokemon that we had chosen to take this thing on. So there was Arthur, this is Seymour. Here is our Mankey. Man, that's brilliant. And there is our Molotov. Beautiful. 9 volt. Always very good. And, um, who are you? Huh. Okay, that's great. Now this is the Pika Cup. Man, is that not great? Beautiful. Okay, so now this has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64. This was the finals of the Pika Cup. Um, yeah, man, that's great. This has been a side LP for Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. Thanks for watching. Till next time.